Hello viewers, and welcome to the end. The last, the twisted heart of the world is laid bare. So, Dismas and Reynold will lead the party. This just seems uh, appropriate to me. Seems right. Oops, I had escaped too many times. Um, we're gonna bring food so that we can heal up. Actually, I don't think food even does anything. I think once you engage in combat, it's just straight combat for the rest of the thing. I mean, unless... You know, we're gonna bring all these torches, too. Unless it's different on hard mode, because it totally could be, right? They could pull some kind of sneaky bait-and-switch stuff. But, uh, as far as I know, light didn't matter last time. I will say that I think this is a really, a really cool move. The, uh, the use of the narrator talking constantly sets it up to be, this is like really unnerving the first time you do it when he's just totally silent. In all my terrible researches, what I sought was a glimpse behind the veil, a crumb of cosmic truth. I found it here, and in that moment of brain-blasting realization, I ceased to be a man, and became a herald, an avatar of the crawling chaos. I have to say, brain blasting doesn't come across that uh, Lovecraftian to me. Seems a little um, modern, I guess. Life feeds on life. In your petty pursuit of family redemption, you consume those who rally to your cause, and in so doing, you strengthen the thing. Accelerating the end. This is as it should be. It is why you are here. At first I thought, you know, oh, this is a uh, little peeks into the darkness that gripped our ancestor's mind when he uh, wrote the letter to us, but honestly, this, yeah, this may not be him at all. This might just be the creature trying to, uh, convince us. We are chained here forever, you and I, at the end of the world. Free yourself, rouse the thing, and embrace the ineffable cosmic hideousness that lives within us all. Hey man, uh, speak for yourself. What lives within me is a very normal, I think, sort of mundane, humanly hideousness. It's like run-of-the-mill hideous. You still foolishly consider yourself an entity separate from the whole. I know better. And I will show you. I thought he always went first. Apparently that's not the case. Uh, she just didn't really get to contribute there, is basically what happened, so that sucks. Oh, I shouldn't... that was the wrong target. Well, I guess we'll do this. Between the three of us, we can probably get him. Oh, man, wow, maybe not, actually. Let's go for it. Okay, we just barely got there. Alright. Very poor damage. It just feels thematically appropriate to me to have, uh... Wow. It feels thematically appropriate to me to have... Dismas and Reynold here.
All right, we got the right one. All right, so as far as I know, there's nothing we can do to um, change this process of him generating clones. He just he makes what he makes. This uh, this thing where he always gets crits that needs to that needs to stop happening, like for real. All right, let's see if we can bring this thing down. A couple of lucky crits would be nice, or maybe just not everybody doing minimum damage all the time. That would also be cool. There we go. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. All right, we need to take down the perfect reproduction here just to try to uh, keep the incoming stress manageable. We do not need somebody freaking out at this early stage of things. Uh, must you leave them alive? That's pretty weird that so many of us got to go before him. Oh, wow. Okay, well, here's... Three of the four remaining imperfect reflections. Um, he's a real shithead for having done it that way, though, because now we're almost certainly going to have to endure two attacks. What a jerk. Ah, must you do minimum damage? This was fully within your range to kill. Alright, well, we ended up only having to... Actually, the way that worked out, we didn't end up having to do any attacks. That was weird. Alright, what's he got now? Oh, perfect. Not useful to us. Dismas, dude. You have to stop doing minimum damage. Sucks. It sucks that he is stunned. Especially since Dismas is so dedicated to doing minimum damage, right? I need some uh need some extra help taking these guys down. Alright, the fact that Dismas for a change did not do minimum does not mean you can go ahead and do minimum. Eleven's not that big of a deal. You can kill him. You can do it. There's like a 50% chance if you hit him that you kill him. There you go. Alright, our ancestor. Now only needs to make one more perfect. Uh, or one more imperfect. For us to get through this. That is excellent. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, that's... Grape Shot was too likely to deal a non-lethal amount of damage, for my taste there. Alright, let's see here. What do we get? Looks like we got one. Alright. Basically, let us... Let us all abandon everything else we were doing. Ah, uh, you suck. Phase one complete. The flesh is fluid. It can be changed, reshaped, remade. Yeah, but I don't know if fluid's the word you wanted there. We'll get a mark on him that'll help dismiss and uh ouch. Dismiss and what's her name? We are, in fact, all going to bandage this off. This stun resist is pretty low. I'm not 
give him give him the old kabong. Maybe we should be drinking the uh, holy water. Don't remember what happens if you hit the absolute nothingness. It, I think it's not good. I'm gonna not attack with her. So as to avoid the possibility of accidentally doing that. Come on, crit him. I was looking for a little stress relief. His, uh, his stress is awfully high. Uh, okay, 19's alright. Could have been better. Ow. Oof. Then maybe I should have held out for a uh, plague doctor on this mission. Stunned, and he is in like the most optimal position right now. Although, again, we're having some minimum damage problems over here. Alright, 10 to 23. Let's see. That's close to the midpoint, at least. See, Reynolds doing it. Reynold knows. Don't you do it. Don't you embrace that futility. Oh, he's gonna freak out. Can you maybe be courageous or powerful? No. Abusive? Okay, the worst possible one. Sure. Oh boy. That's earlier than I'd like to see someone break. If we can just get him down. There we go. Alright. is immortal. It is undying. Pray it does not take too hideous a form. Now's when things start to get pretty weird. That is not what is happening right now, dude. Dismiss, you don't have to. His, his insults are nonsense. You can just ignore him. So as you can see, uh, striking the enemy is causing us to heal, but also blighting us. It's weird. It's a pretty weird thing to be happening. No, uh, no two ways about that. Reynold. How bad. Okay, a couple of people caught it. We have anti venom. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Truth prevails. Progenitor of life, father and mother, alpha and omega, our creator and our destroyer. Well, truth sure did prevail. I'm not sure that it was a great thing for us. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Reynolds, the only person who was at all upset by that. That's a lot of stress. The average damage on pistol shot is lower than the average damage on uh, Wicked Slice, but Wicked Slice has like a lot, or um, pistol shot has a lot of extra crit percentage. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. I'm looking for looking for some of those nice big juicy crits. Yeah. 
Hey, we're doing pretty good damage here. There's no no doubt about that. Ouch. Yep. Okay. 26 is all right. Uh, she's not going to be the best with only two people left. Plus, it's kind of poetic for Reynold and Dismas to make it through this. Provided that that is indeed what happens. We can do this. Doesn't have that much health left. <clears throat> Okay, you're at full health. You're gonna be all right. Oh, the stun is ugly, though. Minimum damage. He's at 28. If we can just get... Oh. He's all eyes. How did you miss the eyes? Yeah, yeah, you're looking pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. Finish it. Oh. Victory. A hollow and ridiculous notion. We are born of this thing, made from it, and we will be returned to it in time. The great family of man. A profusion of errant flesh, multiplying, swarming, living, dying, until the stars align in their inexorable formation, and what sleeps is roused once more. To hatch from this fragile shell of earth and rock, and bring our inescapable end. So seek solace in a manner befitting your lineage, and take up your mugatory vigil. Haunted forever by that sickening prose echoing through the infinite blackness of space and time. Ruin has come to our family. Okay, so actually, uh, nothing at all was different. Can we, uh, let me step into the file here and see. It looks like nothing at all was different about the final mission or the ending. A family name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Yep, ten deaths. At least they get nice tombstones. Well, that's going to be it for this episode and this series. <clears throat> I scarcely know what to do with myself, frankly. Uh, there's been an episode of Darkest Dungeon uh, for every weekday that I've been doing Let's Plays. So, I'm not sure what I'll do now. I guess you guys will, uh, you guys will know shortly after I do. Uh, for now, though, um, we'll see you next time, whatever next time may be.